Hello everyone, this is going to be uh, kind of the first part of a couple series of uh, learning a little bit more about hookah. I know a lot of people see me smoking in my uh, streams, so I figured I'd be uh, forthcoming and give a little bit of details about what it is that I'm actually smoking. So I am smoking shisha uh, tobacco. Uh, my favorite brand right now is uh, um, Ugly Hookah Tobacco. Uh, the mint, it's a very good mint, but you don't generally smoke it by itself unless that's kind of your thing. So I like to mix the mint with something that tastes a little bit like tropical, a very flavor, uh, peachy, um, maybe a little bit of uh, melon. It's got maybe about three different flavors you can taste in there. And this is called Secret Agent Tobacco. Um, very good brand. i just been kind of introduced to this recently. Uh, so I'm going to show you basically how I'm going to mix these two. And... Um, yeah, we're gonna have a little smoke. So, first off, I like my uh, my hookah to have a little bit more mint than anything else. So I'm gonna take my little oyster fork here, take a little bit out. So I'm not really great with measuring. Just kind of like put half and half for the most part. Maybe a little bit more mint. The mint is automatically going to overpower um, whatever flavor you put in there. But I do like to mellow it out with a little bit of Secret Agent. Agent there. Uh, kind of want to just mix it around. Don't want to overpack it too much here. I like to keep a little bit. As you see, I was smoking a little bit of Owl. Al fucker, uh, mint earlier, so you see, I got a little bit because of the oyster fork. I didn't wash it off, which is bad habit. But mint is mint for me. No, I'm okay with it. You just want to spread it around. Make sure you don't have any stems in here. You know what? Let's see for the secret agent there. Let's put a little bit more of the mint and top it off with that, because I do love my mint. Just pour a little bit more in there. I don't use any, uh, I'm not going to use any heat controlling devices on this. Just got to cover it with traditional foil. There you go. Not too crazy. I know it kind of looks like a lot. It really is. Maybe about 15 grit. Nothing too crazy. So I already pre-cut my foil. I usually do this before every, uh, hookah session. I... Take about a sheet of foil, cut it up into different pieces. We'll just tear it up. As tradition goes, we always put sh shiny, eh. shiny side down. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure it's nice and flat over cover. Boom. I like to get a nice little clamp like that. Put down that side. And then bring it down. This is probably one of the most important things besides making sure you don't overpack that you want a nice flat cover nothing too crazy a lot of people use different things to puncture holes I use a regular tack nice even holes it's not gonna rip puncture it very very simple so because I smoke out of a lot of uh, I guess tornado style bowls where the middle a little bit lifted. I'm used to not poking holes. As you see, I'm not the best. The hole puncture. But that should be pretty good right there. So, what I'm going to do, I got some coals on right now. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of smoke. And, uh, give me one second, I'll be right back with that. Alright, so, we got the hookah head made. This is my buddy Armand here. He comes over and smokes all the hookah. Um, so, I mixed a blend of ugly hookah mint, which, green screen, now you can see through the whole thing, and a mixture of secret agent. And I would say Secret Agent tastes like orange, berries, grapefruit, 
all mixed into one, very similar to the tropical mix. So. I taste so much more mint. It's just the mint is very overpowering. Try to get some clouds. Just start a second pull, by the way. I like it. Let's see what it tastes like. Because the green screen, you can't really see clouds on the green screen. Let's see if we can nice tropical mix, refreshing mint. It is good though. Let's see. There you go. As you can see, we all get in clouds. We're smoking out of a traditional KM hookah. You could probably go buy the this hookah from a, a surplus store for maybe about fifty bucks, sixty dollars, with the stem, the glass, everything included. We're smoking out of a traditional clay head. See, the problem with him is this, if you don't ask him for the hookah, he'll just kill it. So you gotta put him on the spot to pass it, that's... Definitely. I'm where hookah goes to die. So, as you see, we get smoke. Very simple pack, very easy. I definitely recommend, um, ugly hookah. Tobacco. Cause it's fucking dope. <laughs> oh, oh, look. Oh. You gotta get the other one. There. there you go. There you go. These two mixes are very good. Uh, especially for people who don't really uh, smoke hookah. You don't want anything too harsh like a, uh, like a Tangiers. Uh, uh, something uh, that's not a black tobacco basically for first timers. Very subtle. Very smooth. Very calm. Yeah. That's it for this. I'm gonna do another video shortly with uh, the Cloud Lotus with this nice new bowl I got from Hookah John very nice I like this uh, well we have this one too this is for Tangiers uh, I'll show you how to pack this because it's a different style of packing it's not a fluff pack smaller because Tangiers is stronger Tangiers is very strong you don't need that much, you don't need that much at all. Tangiers you can smoke basically forever it just doesn't die um, but uh, please uh, subscribe like the video and give me your thoughts on what your favorite flavor is and uh, what hookah you're smoking out of what you like us to see no they have to deal with whatever we smoke you gotta deal with it you will like it we take requests